What's up everybody? This is Parker from the Fast Foodies and I'm back with yet another review. Today, we're actually gonna be trying out the new plant-based chorizo from Chipotle. Now you may be asking yourself, Parker, you're plant-based? No, I am not vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, unlike my sister, she is actually pescatarian, fun fact. But I'm still trying this out, why? Because it is new. And whenever there's something new in the food world, then it is my duty to find it and review it for you guys. If you're watching this, thinking to yourself, man, I wanna stay up to date on the latest fast food items, snacks, cereals, whatever it may be, then all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, and then guess what? You'll be a fast foodie. But back to this plant-based chorizo from Chipotle. Even though I'm not plant-based or vegan as I was saying, I'm still pretty excited to try it out. Why? Well, because when I told my good friend David that I was going to Chipotle to try out this plant-based chorizo, he got very excited because he said that their fajitas were delicious. And I'm pretty sure that those are also plant-based. And the second reason that I'm excited to try this out is because the last time I went to Chipotle to try out a new item, which I think was their, oh, it was their brisket. Man, was that, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil the review. If you wanna see that review, I'll put a card up in one of these corners. Oh, and I think they actually still have it on their menu. So uh, yeah, definitely check out that review if you wanna get some brisket. But yeah, that was pretty delicious. So uh, can Chipotle go two for two on new items? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. I got my tasting fork on the fork look. Hmm, that's pretty solid. So I think with the introduction of this new plant-based chorizo, Chipotle also launched some new, I think they're called Whole30 Bowls. I'm not entirely correct, I'll put a picture up on screen. But that's how I decided to get this plant-based chorizo. And I think this Whole30 Bowl comes with fajitas, looks like some guac as well. I also got some mild tomato salsa. And to be honest, I'm enjoying all those mixins, a decent amount of everything. Although the bowl itself is a little, they could have put a little bit more in here to be honest, but a good ratio of vegetables to the guac, to the veggies. So it doesn't really feel like you're eating a field of grass. You know, sometimes if you get a salad and they just load all the veggies in, then it's not too appetizing, but no. Good ratio, good combination of all the veggies, all the guac in here. But now on to the main event. This plant-based chorizo. This is uh this is something else. They definitely are mixing in some type of spices with the chorizo. I think I saw a picture that said that they had garlic, chipotle peppers, I think one other spice as well. And you can definitely taste those spices. I think I'm getting the chipotle flavor the most, and I think that's because it's the spiciest. I would have preferred if they dialed down the heat a little bit and increased the garlic flavor, I think, of the uh, chorizo, because I'm a huge garlic fan. I get that from my mom. She puts loads of garlic on everything. But besides that, I mean, texture-wise, I really can't tell a difference between this chorizo and normal chorizo. So for ratings, I'm gonna have to give this, I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. As I mentioned, <coughs> yeah, you can see the heat is getting to me a little. If they just dial down the heat a little and let the garlic come out a little bit more, those garlic flavors, the natural flavor of the chorizo shine a bit more, let that chorizo have the main, the main spotlight. And this could have been, Nine and a half, ten 10 out of 10. So even though I'm not plant-based, I would easily go back and get this again. And if you are plant-based or if you've tried this before, let me know in the comments down below what you guys have thought about this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to hear more, check out Fast Foodies Podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify.